Greetings from the International Labour Organization to the participants of this first global uh, youth forum on cooperative entrepreneurship. Many thanks to the International Cooperative Alliance for inviting us at the Cooperatives Unit of the ILO to share our thoughts on cooperative entrepreneurship with you. Today, youth employment is a global challenge and a top policy concern. This is reflected in the targets and indicators of SDG 8, the Sustainable Development Goal on sustained, inclusive and sustainable economic growth, full and productive employment and decent work for all. There are more than 64 million unemployed young women and men worldwide. 145 million workers, young workers, live in poverty. Around the world, 255 million young people are not in employment, nor are they in education or training, meaning they are neither gaining professional experience nor acquiring or developing skills through educational or vocational programs. This figure represents one-fifth of world's youth. There is also a stark gender difference there. Young women are more than twice as likely as young men to be unemployed or outside the labor force and not in education and training. Young people typically are two to three times more likely to be unemployed than adults. Even when they can find work, the quality of employment available to young people is in decline. The type of em employment that has come to dominate young people's labor market experiences is increasingly vulnerable or informal in low and middle income countries. In higher income countries, it is of temporary and other non-standard forms. What many young people want is to attain a quality education and then a chance for meaningful and rewarding work. In this context, the problem of how best to promote young people's entry into decent work is ever more pressing. There are quite a few responses which need to go hand in hand in addressing these issues, from macroeconomic policies that enable job creation among youth and investment in education and skills, to active labor market policies, youth entrepreneurship development, and promoting rights of young people. It is now more evident than ever that the world needs innovative solutions to reverse the situation. These solutions could be in terms of alternative forms of business or new models of growth. Cooperatives and other social and solidarity economy enterprises are emerging as bottom-up strategic collective initiatives with local roots that can provide concrete strategies to address these challenges. Young people are also recognizing the relevance of business models that are not only economically sustainable, but also contribute to social and environmental sustainability. 86% of millennials think that business success should be measured in terms of more than just financial performance. Cooperatives can create youth employment not by only providing salaried employment, but also facilitating job creation through self-employment. Well-established cooperatives and wider cooperative movement can offer opportunities for professional and vocational training to younger young people. The collaborative approach of working together, sharing risks and responsibilities in cooperatives can also be appealing for young people looking for meaningful engagement. At the same time, young people can help modernize and energize cooperatives through their involvement in new sectors and new economic activities. Unfortunately, still many young people around the world do not know about cooperatives and other social and solidarity economy enterprise options. Rarely do they learn about them in their school years, nor are they introduced to them in most skills development or entrepreneurship development courses. Creation of an enabling environment for the development of cooperatives and wider social and solidarity economy therefore requires their integration as topics into education curricula in both formal and non-formal education and in entrepreneurship training. The ILO has had a long-standing commitment to promoting decent work for youth. 
supported by a unique tripartite structure that brings together key players in the world of work, ILO's activities on youth employment span over policy advocacy, knowledge generation and dissemination, policy and technical advice, and capacity building services. The ILO has also had a specialized unit on cooperatives that is celebrating its centenary this year. It continues to this day because the cooperative business model is as relevant today as it was 100 years ago. This unit provides policy advice, research and capacity building services that allow for new forms of cooperation to flourish in renewable energy, platform economy, care provision, or social services. ILO's cooperative management tools follow open access principles and are available for youth organizations, cooperatives, governments, trade unions, and employers' organizations around the world. We hope you leave this forum with new ideas, connections, and motivation for cooperative entrepreneurship. At the ILO, we look forward to, the, to hearing the findings and recommendations emerging from this forum to inform our actions and collaborations. Thank you.